biggest challenge yet. Goodness. Who's finals dream? It's gonna fall. It's excruciating watching this. We'll bring the house down. Careful of that root bit. Family Food Fight, Monday, 7.30. Good evening. Warm winds are dropping back across North Queensland, but our heatwave conditions are here to stay for the weekend. Today in town, it got up to 35 degrees. Now, tomorrow, the weather's staying a bit unstable over Queensland's coast under a high-pressure bridge, which could bring some light showers, but heatwave conditions and high fire danger will remain, particularly around the central and Fraser coasts. Showers and gusty storms will continue in the top end. To our capital cities, now a sunny day on the way in Sydney tomorrow. A bit warmer with 25 degrees. A really hot day on the way in Canberra, topping out at 29 there. Melbourne getting warmer as well, 31 and sunny. A few showers and 31 in Adelaide to Perth. A little bit cooler, topping out at just 23 degrees. For Brisbane tomorrow, slightly cooler than today, but still above average, a top of 31 degrees and partly cloudy. Let's have a look back home across our region. Mostly sunny weather on the way. A bit of cloud cover over the coast and a possible morning shower on the way. Through the day we will see our temperatures getting up above average but we are seeing slightly cooler conditions than earlier this week which is such a relief. Ingham warmest along the coast getting up to 37. Still getting into the 40s inland. Charters Towers reaching a top of 41 degrees. Having a look at offshore conditions. Winds will get to 15 knots. Now seas and swell both peaking at a metre. High tides tomorrow around 20 past five in the morning and the same in the afternoon. All right, back on shore, let's have a look at what's in store in Townsville tomorrow. A bit of cloud cover about, still pushing up that humidity through the day. Now, fortunately, we are seeing a slightly cooler change, but still really warm. Tonight, it, we're expecting a minimum of 26 degrees, so still really balmy overnight with a top of 35 through the day tomorrow. Now, as we look ahead, we could see some light showers developing on Sunday. Slightly cooler with a top of 34 degrees. Staying dry until about next Tuesday when we'll start to see some more showers developing and they will intensify into the end of next week. Having a look at the Burdekin tomorrow, slightly warmer, a top of 36 degrees again with that cloud cover and persistent humidity sticking around. Temperatures warming up into early next week and those showers next week. Thanks, Nicole. An Australian man is one of the first in the world to receive a new hip replacement surgery which could reduce recovery time to just six weeks. The resurfacing procedure preserves more of the patient's bone, but the real secret lies in the material used for the implant. Anton Constantine is only 43, but the arthritis in his hip became so bad it affected his ability to keep active or work effectively on his feet as a project manager. Particularly if I'm doing a long day on my feet with a lot of movement and stairs and God knows what, I can't sleep that night. I'm in agony. Anton tried other ways to relieve the pain. Surgery was his last resort. I'm hoping that this is, is something that's really going to open the future up a bit. He consented to a pilot study of this ceramic implant for a hip resurfacing operation. This is the first time we've been able to use ceramic on ceramic in hip resurfacing. We think it'll solve some of the problems that resurfacing has had and make it an even better operation. Resurfacing preserves more of the patient's bone. So this is the bone removed for a conventional hip replacement and this is the amount of bone we remove for a hip resurfacing. So we're removing a lot less bone from the femur. The resurfacing just seemed like a, a much better option. But it has been stifled by the use of metal-on-metal metal implants and past controversies. The Depew ASR was recalled after side effects including metal particles leaching into the bloodstream. That led to an historic $250 million payout. Down inside the femur. Professor Bill Walter has been granted special access by the TGA to test this resurf device. The ceramic material has a 12-year clinical history. This technology has the potential to really make a difference, I think, particularly for younger patients. Anton is one of only 20 patients from around the world to receive this new device. Plans are also underway to enrol 200 people for a larger trial next year. 
all the early patients with, with any new device are studied very carefully to make sure there are no problems. Several hours after the operation, Anton is back on his feet. He looks forward to tying up his own shoelaces. I'm just looking forward to a more active lifestyle. Gabriella Rogers, Nine News. A thief in Florida has been well and truly caught with his pants down while breaking into a car dealership. Security cameras filmed as he pushed through a panel in a wall, losing his shorts in the process. He then manages to clear out the till and go back the way he came, this time fully dressed. <laughs> Not a great start to the day. Yeah, you got there in the end. Though, didn't you? <laughs> That's nine news for this Friday. Have a great weekend. From all the team, thanks for joining us. Good night. Good night. Hello, I'm Tracy Grimshaw. Welcome.